Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about ordering numbers up to 100,000 in increasing or decreasing order. During this time of pandemic, a lot of people who are helping each other, one of them is Mr. De La Cruz. Mr. De La Cruz donated sacks of rice to different barangays. He donated 87,564 sacks to Barangay Masagana, 65,896 sacks to Barangay Maligaya, 91,342 sacks to Barangay Kaagapay, and 54,897 sacks to Barangay Kalinisan. Arrange the numbers of sacks given to different barangays in increasing and decreasing order. Before we're going to answer the problem, let's study first the two ways in ordering numbers. The first one is increasing order. What is an increasing order? Increasing order is the process of arranging numbers from smallest to largest. Sometimes, we call this as ascending order. The next one is decreasing order. What is a decreasing order? Decreasing order is the process of arranging numbers from largest to smallest. Sometimes, we call this as descending order. Now we already know what is an increasing and decreasing order. Let's read again the problem and answer. Mr. De La Cruz donated sacks of rice to different barangays. He donated 87,564 sacks to Barangay Masagana, 65,896 sacks to Barangay Maligaya, 91,342 sacks to Barangay Kagapay, and 54,897 sacks to Barangay Kalinisan. Arrange the number of sacks given to different barangays in increasing and decreasing order. To arrange numbers in increasing order, find the smallest to largest number. In this series of numbers, let's compare each number. Do you remember how to compare numbers? Yes, first let's count the number of digits in each number. So, for the first number, how many digits? Yes, there are five digits. How about the second number? Alright, there are five digits too. How about the third number? Very good, there are five digits. And lastly, how many digits are there in 54,897? Yes, you are right. There are also five digits. In our first example, all the numbers are having the same number of digits. So, we don't know yet what is the smallest or the largest number. So, let's start comparing from the highest place value, which is in the ten thousands place. So, we have 8, 6, 9, and 5. So, what is the smallest number? Alright, 5 is the smallest number. So, if we're going to arrange in increasing order, we start from 54,897 as the smallest number. So, let's compare 8, 6, and 9. What is the smallest number? Yes, 6 is the smallest number. So, the next number is 65,896. The third number is we're going to compare from 8 and 9. So, which is smaller, 8 or 9? Alright, 8 is smaller than 9. So, the third number is 87,564. And the last number or the largest number is 91,342. This is the way how we're going to arrange numbers from smallest to greatest or increasing order. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to arrange the numbers in decreasing order. So it is easier for us now to arrange in decreasing order because 
it is already arranged in increasing order. So we start from the largest number, which is 91,342, followed by 87,564. The third number is 65,896, and the last number is 54,897. This is the way how we're going to arrange numbers in decreasing order or from the largest number down to the smallest number. Do you understand already how to arrange numbers in increasing and decreasing order? If yes, congratulations! Now let's have a short exercises. You can pause this video and write or give your answer. Then, if you are done, play again the video, then I'm going to give you the correct answer. Did you get the correct answer? If yes, congratulations! If not, don't worry, you can go back to our discussion and answer again the exercises. With that, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.